Preparing for an event that last took place in 2005. Here at the Department of Defense Headquarters, Nairobi. It's the formal handover ceremony as the new Chief of Defense Forces assumes the mantle of leadership from his predecessor. The eighth general departs the forces and in comes the ninth after six years. The former chief of staff, now renamed chief of defense forces, retired general Jeremiah Kianga, handing over the mantle to the new chief general Julius Karangi, following an appointment by President Mike Kibaki in July. Retired General Kianga now changes his career path to become the board chairman at the Railways Corporation. This a unique event as an officer from the Air Force takes office as the Defense Force Chief for the first time, taking over from a man who served during one of Kenya's darkest moments, the 2007 post-election violence, fitting into the shoes of a man he says, in my 38 years of military service, I never had the opportunity to be anybody's deputy, except under General Kianga for the last six years. And it was during his career that he managed to secure master's degree in military warfare and science. <laughs> Hiyo ndio kitu ya kwanza. E, Juzi madam ali nunua tumbuzi nyingine kidogo kadhaa huko. Akaweka mahali akaniambia sasa tukitoka hapa tutaenda kule. Twende kuchunga hiyo mbuzi. Lakini wamewe tutapitia kwa railway. And so in style Kianga was literally pulled out of the defense headquarters. Leaving what was until today his official car as he becomes a civilian. But what does not change is that he is a husband and a father too. This tradition marks the last day in uniform for a man who has served 40 years in the forces and of the 46 years as the chief of the defense forces. Judy Kosge, Citizen TV, Nairobi.